Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode of this cool amazing model right here in my hand. And basically what this is, is a trolley dolly or you can also call this as a foldable grocery cart that's in use for doing groceries or you can also use it for doing laundries and everything else. They have a lot of options out there as well where you can actually purchase it with a laundry bag that's included as well. But I went with the grocery bag option right here. But first thing first, I'm actually open the product to show you guys what it actually looks like first and what comes out the package first. All right, so we first open up the package itself. You guys can see that that is basically what it looks like inside. Let's take it out first. All right, so once we take it out, this is basically what the product looks like right here. Obviously, you guys can't see it too well with the reflection on the back itself. So let me actually take it out first. All right, so once we take out the wrapper, you guys can see that this is basically what the product looks like right here. So it comes with the grocery bag right here. And for the grocery bags, it actually comes in different color that you can choose from. But I went with the purple one because I got this as a gift for someone. So basically, this is what the bag looks like right here. So this is the grocery bag that's included. Uh, like I mentioned, if you guys want to get the laundry bag, you guys can definitely go for that option as well. But you can see, they definitely have a lot of compartments for the actual product itself. So they have this compartment for you guys to open up to put like your phone, your power banks, or whatever inside here. It's very spacious. When you open up this part here, you guys have that huge opening inside right there. They can put like laundry, groceries, or whatever you guys want to put inside there. They do have this little zipper part where you can actually put stuff in here as well if you guys want to. And you guys have this option right here to pull it open and close it to make it tighter or looser. And when you want to seal it back up, just use this part right here to tape it on here and it should close up like that. Obviously, that will work a lot better when you guys have stuff inside. And the bottom part, you do get another pocket area here. So if you open it up, it's very spacious as well right here. And on the other side right here, they do have a little compartment as well where you can put stuff here as well. So maybe you just want to put like bottles or something else. That's up to you guys. On the back part right here, they have another compartment as well. So they have it right here. And they have a zipper apart right here to put stuff here as well if you guys want to use that option. But this is basically what the overall back looks like right here. Next thing you can see right here, they do provide you guys the instruction manual to teach you guys how to set a product and how to use it. Should be pretty easy and simple to actually set it up and use it. But let's take a look at the product itself first. All right. So right here, we have the whole entire trolley cart or shopping cart right here that is foldable. So definitely save a lot of space, which is pretty awesome. So you can see it on the tire itself right here. It matches the color that I got for the actual uh, bag itself. So if you guys got blue, then it'll be blue right here. If you guys got white, then it should be white here as well. So let's take out the wheels first and then assemble it together to show you guys how it looks like once it's fully done. So I'm gonna take this part off first. So right here is the wheels, if you can see, should be pretty easy to install it. Same thing for the other one as well. Let me take that out. So here are the two wheels right here. And right here we have the cart. So let's install the wheels in here first. So you can see on the bottom part here, this is basically where we'll install the wheels. They do have a protective cover here and here. They just want to remove before installing the wheels. So just like this. So that part right there, you guys want to stick it into the wheels that they provide for you guys, which is right here. And then the cool thing about these wheels that they have right here is really easy to install. They have this option right here where you can actually push it up like this to release it inside to make it looser or tighter. So all you guys need to do is push that part that I showed you guys right here and then push it in right here. So just go like this, push it all the way. And then once you guys have it in all the way, let go, and it's all secured, if you can see. But once you guys push this button right here, you can pull it out really easily. But it definitely holds it really nicely, as you can see. It's really, really secure. So let's do the same thing for our side. And then this is basically what the product looks like right here with the wheels on. It definitely is really secure, and the tire itself feels pretty nice. So once you guys have that part done, you guys want to open it up. And the way how you guys open it up is by pulling this part up right here, and lock this part onto here, pushing all the way, and lock it. And you guys have that part locked up right there. Next thing you guys want to open up the bottom part right here. And it should lock in on both sides. So right there. And right there. And it's all set. So once you guys fully set up, it should look something like this. But let me just put this out on the ground to give you guys a better point of view of what the product looks like. And right here, they have this slot where you can actually put it in here if you guys want to. If you guys don't want to, you guys can definitely do this as well. But let me actually take this out and show you guys what this will actually look like if you guys put it in here. All right, so once you guys fully assemble it correctly, you guys have the support here, you guys have the support here, and you guys have the support here as well. But that way you can get full support here for the bottom, middle, and for the top part as well right here. If you guys want to use your own stretch band to tie on your bags or whatever, you guys can definitely use that as well. So we got the bag right here. I took off the back part right now. Let's try to put on our little stretch band right here. All right. So that's what the back part looks like right there. So obviously, if you guys don't have this bag right here, or if you guys don't plan on using this bag, you guys have your own bag, you guys can definitely use a stretch band right here to use this option as well. All right, so when you guys use the product itself, you guys can just roll it back and forth like this. 
It definitely has a really strong wheel, so when I bring it down the stairs, you definitely get a really good support. But you can see the bottom part, it has this part to stick up. You can see the pockets right here, 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 and other parts inside as well. There's definitely a lot of space inside here to put a lot of stuff. But this is basically what the product looks like on top, all the way to the bottom. I right, welcome back guys. So now I guess I'll a quick test of the product itself and see the product itself looks really really good. I definitely love the overall build of the product itself. It's super easy to set it up, super easy to install and remove the wheels if you guys need to. The overall product itself is so space saving and compact so if you guys want to just fold it back up you definitely can. So that's actually really useful for people who are living in like a small space and don't have a lot of room to put the product itself. You can just assemble every single part that I just showed you guys and just put it somewhere so you can store it if you guys don't have enough space or whatever which is pretty cool. But I definitely love the material that they have on the actual product itself right here and also on the wheels as well. It definitely has that soft cushioning on the actual product itself to give you guys that really comfortable feeling when you actually use the actual bar itself. In terms of the wheels on the product itself, it's supposed to be heavy duty. So you can use it all different types of like flooring, wetter, whatever. In terms of the maximum capacity on the product itself, how much can you actually hold on here? So the maximum is 110 pounds. So if it has anything above that capacity, I don't recommend putting on the actual product itself. Just be safe. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we could unbox it and test them for ourselves, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that any type of like foldable trolley dolly carts or like shopping grocery carts, anything that's similar to this is definitely super worth it. Like I mentioned earlier, if you guys want to get this option where it comes with the grocery bag, you can definitely go for this option. But if you guys want to go for the other option where they have the uh, laundry bag option, you guys can definitely go for that as well. They have a lot of other options available out there that you can look for and do your own research on what you guys want. But so far, based on this product, I have to say that it's really, really worth it. It's so space saving and it actually can do so much. And one last thing that I forgot to mention about the product itself is the fact of how they designed this product. It's the fact that you won't actually touch the ground when you actually use it, which is pretty cool. You definitely get that huge part in the bottom to give you guys that space to prevent it from touching the ground. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you guys really quick. So as you guys can see, this part right here, it sticks up right here to give you guys that space. So whatever you guys put on top, it will not touch the ground. And the wheel itself is so big, so you guys can actually get that extra support as well. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.